Got some stuff on the horizon. I guess not tonight, right? This not will tonight. Be tomorrow. Okay, the a bit of a break. Gonna, yeah, the humidity is going to come up tonight, but tomorrow is when we start to see the showers and storms late in the day. So most of your evening tonight is going to be quiet, and most of your day tomorrow should be all right. We might see a couple spotty showers in the morning, but let's take a look at what's happening right now as we're rounding out this Wednesday afternoon. 89 degrees our temperature right now in Frisco at Toyota Stadium. South winds at 15 holding on. Uh, a lot of us have been talking about it. The grass pollen it remains in the high category, has been in the high category since last week. Still remaining up there in the elm is in the back in the moderate category, at least for today. Probably because of the winds that are out of the south near about 15 to 20 miles per hour. We have that pollen again floating around in the atmosphere. We'll see a breezy evening. We're still pretty warm right now at Azle at 91. Grand Barrier, you're sitting at 92 degrees. Benbrook, one of our warmer readings at 93. Still in the upper 80s to the low 90s in parts of Collin County. McKinney, you're at 89 right now to Mesquite sitting at 86 and across North Texas. The same story. We have temperatures in the low 90s to the upper 80s, except for down towards the south and east. That's where we have temperatures slightly cooler because of more cloud cover today and the humidity has already come up for you. More moisture already in our southeast counties holding together. So hour by hour into the evening hours will still be pretty warm. 87 degrees at 8 cools down to 80 degrees by 10 with partly cloudy skies. South winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour holding on tomorrow. We'll see temperatures warming to the low 90s. Rain chances about 60% as we round out the afternoon. And with that, we have a slight risk of severe storms in the forecast for mainly our west sides of the Metroplex and our west counties for 70 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter to golf ball sized hail. So as we go through the uh, morning hours, we'll see that cloud cover increase for us, some spotty showers around. And then as we go into the late afternoon hours, we'll start to see that line of storms developing out to the west. Closer towards the Metroplex between about 5, 6 to then 7 o'clock. And as that line of storms continues to push its way eastward, we're going to be seeing, seeing that potential of those winds gusting up to near 70 to 80 miles per hour. Then going into Friday, slight risk of severe storms also in the forecast for some isolated strong to possibly severe storms in the late afternoon hours at a 40% chance. We'll see 88 Friday and then going into Saturday and Sunday. This upper level low is close by with it. A lot of rain on the way. We'll see 83 Saturday by Monday. Bill finally drying out.